At the Persian Gallery of the British Museum in London, a send-off for this iconic piece is being sent to the US for a tour. Known as the Cyrus Cylinder, it's a baked clay piece just 22 centimeters long. Inscribed in Babylonian cuneiform, this is what is described as the first ever declaration of human rights. An account of how the Persian king Cyrus extended his empire, freeing slaves, preaching tolerance and respect for freedom of worship. Jews in Babylon were set free to return to Jerusalem to rebuild their temples. A far cry from today's Middle Eastern politics. It's the source of so much history that to see the actual reality there is extraordinary. And sometimes we need something concrete to fix our imaginations uh, on difficult and complex realities. For Iranians, the Cyrus Cylinder is a source of pride, a reminder of what was once a civilized empire, spreading tolerance from eastern reaches of Afghanistan to Libya in North Africa. It's also a confirmation of a crucial biblical story. Cyrus's cylinder is of crucial importance to Iranians, but not just Iranians, to the Jews. This is the first confirmation, historical confirmation, that the Jews were saved by a Persian king named Cyrus. Two years ago, in spite of heightened tension between Britain and Iran, the cylinder was sent to Tehran, where it was seen by hundreds of thousands of people, including President Ahmadinejad, helping him to look beyond the recent Islamic history of Iran. What I hope is that uh, when it's on exhibition uh, in America, it will tell, uh, it, will, it will make clear to everybody what a very, very rich cultural heritage Iran has. I think it adds a new dimension to uh, an understanding of, of the Middle East, to know something more about these very, very rich civilizations which existed in antiquity. Iranians abroad, particularly in the US, had requested the tour, even footing the bill, hoping it will help change attitudes, maybe even avert a war. Kasser Najib, BBC, at the British Museum, London.